actually, I'd like you to tell the audience uh, what, it, what it is that you do. Uh, so I just graduated from university uh, in 2019. So I'm going to be applying to medical school this summer. So right now, I'm just working as a medical assistant uh, at a local clinic in Spokane, Washington, in the States. Uh, I'm taking a couple extra classes that I need as prerequisites for medical school uh, and trying to stay healthy in the meantime, you know, all that stuff going on. So, yeah, pretty lucky. So have your visits, visits to the clinic been limited because of this uh, pandemic issue? So luckily in Spokane, which is on the east side of Washington, uh, we're not as affected yet so far. Uh, so our clinic focuses mostly on musculoskeletal issues. So we're not going to be seeing um, a lot of like emergency patients or we don't do too much primary care work. So we don't see people for like regular checkups or if they're feeling sick, they'll come in. So we haven't been too exposed that way. Uh, and as long as everyone in the clinic is staying healthy and we're taking like all the precautions that are necessary whenever we see patients, uh, we're going to stay open. Um, as long as we're allowed to, so okay, yeah. nothing nothing has changed too much in terms of work, you know. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, the reason I wanted to interview you was uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with your being in the state of Washington or the fact that mm -hmm. you plan to be a medical student. It has to do with uh, I consider I consider you one of the most physically fit people I know in in real life. Yeah. I'm flattered. Yeah, and and I know that you have a pretty uh, extensive workout routine. So I was wondering if any of that has changed uh, in the past month or so. Yeah, it's changed a good amount. Uh, just because, so restaurants have closed down, uh, bars and gyms have closed down. Just kind of areas where you might have a lot of interaction with other people. Uh, so there, I usually do most of my workouts in a gym, like a mix between like weightlifting and like interval training and circuit stuff. Uh, so I haven't been able to do that as much at all, actually. Uh, okay. But I'm also like a pretty big fan of doing calisthenics, which is bodyweight workouts. Um, and one of my roommates, actually, we just finished a workout like a couple hours ago, so I haven't showered yet. Uh, okay. But one of my roommates is training for a uh, triathlon. Uh, he's a triathlete, so he's doing like the whole running, swimming, biking, all that stuff. So he does a lot of workouts outdoors. And luckily, uh, close to the school I graduated from, they have a bunch of like pull-up bars and like parallel dip bars. And that whole area where you can uh, just do like bodyweight workouts. Yeah. So I've been going there. Uh, with either by myself or with my roommates, so mm -hmm. yeah, we can still stay pretty active that way and doing like a lot of people in Spokane, uh, I guess because they're like working from home and all that. Yeah, uh, we've been seeing a lot more people like running outside of our house or biking outside of our house, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, people are staying active, which is nice. Okay, so I guess it's sort of different here in Manila where we're advised not to even leave our houses except for mm -hmm. maybe emergency, emergencies. Uh, you mentioned that people are still like, uh, you still see them uh, going past your, past your apartment there. Yeah. yeah, so in Spokane, it hasn't gotten, so in like San Francisco and Seattle, uh, it's pretty similar in uh, like in Manila, I guess, where everyone is advised to stay home unless they absolutely need to go like get groceries or medical emergency stuff. Yeah. Uh, but in Spokane, people have been advised to stay home, but they can still go out and about as long as they're not uh, congregating in areas like with more than 10 people. Yeah. Uh, and there's like, when you're running, like I've gone on runs in the neighborhood and I'll see other joggers and we still stay like uh, six, 10 feet apart, you know? So uh, people are okay. conscious about it. But luckily, we're still able to go outside and mm. do all that, you know. So you no longer hug the joggers that you pass pass by. 
What's that? You no longer embrace them when, when, whenever you see them on their own. Yeah, they usually get mad at me if I try, so. Okay. Yeah, they're not big, big fans of that. Okay, okay. Well, it seems like you're, you're, I mean, you look and your apartment looks like it's still, it's still in pretty okay condition. Uh, are, th- are there any things that you've done to, to manage with this crisis? Uh, we did like stock up on a couple items, uh, not to the same extent that a lot of people here in the States are doing, like people are freaking out and buying like hella toilet paper and Mm -hmm. stockpiling stuff as if it's going to be like a year, you know, whatever. Uh, I mean, so we just did like normal grocery runs, uh, got a little bit more than usual, but it's important to be conscious that like other people may need some of these items more than you so just get what is like within your living means mm-hmm. so don't yeah. just don't be excessive you know so uh we just got like yeah maybe like two weeks worth of food instead of one week's worth of food okay so mm-hmm. okay yeah. yeah that i'd say that's about the extent we yeah. already had enough toilet paper so we're chilling on uh, that front okay yeah and and i wouldn't even consider toilet paper an essential good anyway <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got socks, we got... Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm pretty yeah. sure you still have lots of... Good. Yeah, you still have lots of scratch paper from from your four years of university. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. It's a good thing I kept that, because now yeah, I can yeah. 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 use it what I've been using for this whole time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I, I kind of want you to expound a little on, on the way that you've changed sort of like uh, the things that you focus on in your in your uh, physical fitness mm-hmm. routine. Yeah, so um, I mentioned that I've been going outdoors to work out, uh, but that's just because they have like full of bars available and all that. But there's a lot of things that uh, you can also do at home that I've been doing. So calisthenics is basically just any workout that involves body weight. Uh, so you could still be doing like push-ups, uh, if you have like one of those attachable bullet bars, you can use one of those at home. Nice. Uh, air squats, like core workouts and all that. So yeah, there's a lot of resources online that you could probably find like quick 30 minute, 60 minute mm. calisthenics workouts. Yeah. And then I'm also a big fan of yoga. So I have like a yoga mat in my room. Mm. So sometimes like if I'm feeling kind of sore, if I just want to get like mobility work, stuff like that. Uh, kind of like sound myself, you know. Uh, yoga is also pretty viable. Um, I've gone to like enough yoga classes where I can kind of just do like my own like routine, but there's definitely, uh, and I think a lot of people are like understanding that people are stuck at home, so they're on the internet putting out content for like at home yoga sessions, workouts, all that. So you can definitely find guided at home. Uh, workouts, sorry, yoga routines. Now, yeah. That. So, is there a particular uh, kind of yoga that you do? Uh, vinyasa flow is pretty basic. Okay. Uh, I think a lot of like if you go to yoga studio, they'll probably offer one like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's just the one I've been most accustomed to because when we're doing it for uh, sports in high school and college, uh, it's a pretty like good like kind of recovery yoga that you can do yep. um, but there's definitely like variations that you can do like more balance work or more uh, like core and stability stuff that you can do to make it more challenging so it's a pretty flexible way uh but pretty flexible style uh, that you can choose to yeah pretty flexible you for yourself. Uh, pun intended well you mentioned about uh about people jogging or whatever but you're not mm-hmm. really you're not really big with cardio though Right. Uh, no, I do. I do a good amount of cardio. Uh, well, it kind of depends. So, mm-hmm. when you're doing uh, like circuit training stuff like that, uh, you do like inadvertently get a really good cardio workout. Okay. Like your cardiovascular system and respiratory system are all working pretty hard. So in that sense, like you are building your aerobic threshold and uh, working on your aerobic fitness that way. Yeah. Um, in terms of like going out and running, uh, 
the most I'll do is maybe like a five mile run. Uh, like today we did two miles in total. Um, so not that much, but uh, I'll often like warm up with a mile run or like a stationary bike for like 15, 30 minutes or something like that. Uh, or rowing machine, things like that. So Okay, okay. That's something I didn't realize because for some reason I had it in mind that you weren't really big with like jogging or 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 whatever cardio stuff. I get it, it's it kind of just depends on the day. Like if it's okay. really nice out, uh-huh. uh, I could really like jogging's pretty fun. Yeah. But I'd say more often. Yeah, you're right. More often times than not, I don't. Uh, mm. I don't jog most days. But, but yeah, but you are capable of it. That that's the that's something that at least that's impressive for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm dropped here and there at least a at least a handful of times. Yeah, and and you used to do like the crew. I, I'm not sure what the less technical term for that is. Oh, fish rowing. Rowing, yeah, so. rowing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is which is fairly uh, demanding uh, in terms of cardio, right? Yeah, it definitely requires um, very good aerobic and anaerobic mm-hmm. fitness. So uh, yeah, rowing workouts include. Yeah. both sides of that coin yeah. but if you're but if you're if they eventually stop people from or discourage people from uh like going jogging or doing a run you'll mm-hmm. have to you'll you'll have to find ways to to manage while inside this room of yours uh, yeah that would be so challenging so would that be yeah. like you'd just be stationary and like jumping in one place or something yeah i could do like uh for example squat jumps or uh like stationary like jumping lunges you know okay. something like that uh. um yeah a lot of yeah so you can basically whenever you're working out you're getting the sweat going you are getting an aerobic workout in you're like okay. you're working the cardiovascular system uh-huh. um and i'm a pretty big fan of high intensity interval training um, okay, yeah. it for short mm-hmm. yeah you might have heard, yeah you probably have heard of it yeah yeah you can do like squat jumps which is really really good um maybe you like start off with like sets of one minute or say like 30 seconds of squat jumps yeah you know like 30 seconds um on and like maybe 30 seconds to a minute of rest in between each set okay uh, yeah basically for high intensity interval training you want to be uh working really hard for a short period of time and your heart rate will be pretty high uh, and then you want to rest uh, for you maybe like double the amount of time that you're working for okay and then repeat for how many like cycles you want to do um, that's a really really good way to boost aerobic fitness because um, in to- like the total amount of time that you're working at that high intensity like high heart rate Mm-hmm. Uh, will like accumulate, okay. And so you will be like working at uh, creating like cardiac output. And but I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing the problem with <clears throat> the danger at least of that is, well, not danger, but uh, I guess it's gonna get monotonous for for people eventually if they're not properly yeah. if, if they're not properly motivated. So what is it that mm-hmm. keeps you motivated when? when you do some when something gets repetitive uh definitely mix it up so uh there's dozens and dozens like hundreds of different like high intensity workouts you can do if you have a jump rope for example uh that'd be a great way to get your like cardio workout in mm-hmm. uh yeah you can do jump rope you can do like uh, mountain climbers, so like if you're on all fours and like you're doing like leg tucks and stuff, okay. uh, that can like up the intensity pretty well. Um, but definitely like vary it up, and you you want to vary it for sure in terms of like different muscle groups, so you're hitting everything and making sure you're well balanced. Okay. Uh, so that alone should should incorporate some diversity into your at home workout. Mm-hmm. Um, and then even then, like if you're not having fun with it, it's pretty tough to stick to a workout routine. So um, maybe you can pair it with something that you like doing. So okay. if you happen to have like a stationary bike at home or something like that, 
you could be doing whatever monotonous uh, workout, like watching TV, like okay. watching a movie, or yeah. kind of like pair it together where oh, once I finish this workout, now I can mm-hmm. like finish that movie. Now I can like read that book, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's different ways to go about it. Yeah. And uh, I've been asking people uh, to do something on camera that that's pretty impressive. Is there anything you can do right now that uh, um, just something that m- most people couldn't do. Okay, I can try. Is this yoga or something? No, I'm just gonna try like a like a clap push up sort of deal. Okay. All right. Um, if I if I like hit my face on the ground, you can edit that out, right? Uh, I prefer to keep it actually, at least for the outtakes. Yeah, it's cool. It's not nothing personal. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good luck. Thanks, dude. Ooh. I don't know if you caught that. If the camera angle got it. Uh, I think so. I mean, I, I saw the clap. I saw your pushing. Front, back, front. Can, can you do it again, though? Uh, no guarantees, but we'll try. Okay. All right, so I'm trying to do uh, a three clap push up, but the first clap will be right here, second clap will be behind my back. Third clap will be back in front and then oh, wow. land, you know? Okay. Okay. I just ate a bunch of pasta, so. Oh no. Yeah, but, yeah. we'll see. <sighs> Was that three? I don't know if you heard the last one, but like my fingers touched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Can, do, I can try to do a third one if you really want. Well, I, I also, I'm, I'm already impressed, but if, if you're still capable, yeah, why not? Yeah, just okay, to prove it's no not. fluke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I already did 200 push ups today, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, excuses, you know, excuses. <laughs> okay. I think that's the best we get. Yeah, that, that was pretty amazing. Yeah. So, so yeah. anyway, uh, so do you have any final words to? give to our audience if you're stuck at home uh, it's a great opportunity to like focus on yourself uh, in like multiple different aspects you know get your like physical fitness under control uh, you can get like your mental state right like incorporate meditation reflection whatever so oh I'm out of breath like that was whew, that was tiring yeah but um, yeah it was great yeah. so I don't know be grateful for, I mean, obviously, like, there's a lot of, like, shit in the fan. Yeah. Um, but to, like, stay positive out there. Mm-hmm. Be grateful for, like, three things a day at least. So I can hope with nice. whatever you're doing. Yeah, so so do you actually write down the three that. things? Do you write down the three things, like, at a certain time or something? Not a certain time, but I have, like, in the My Notes app, like, okay. on my phone. So it's um, it's part of your to do it's part of your to do list in uh, every day. Kind of yeah, mm-hmm. it's gotten to the point where it's kind of like I randomly remember during the day. It's not like I'm like checking out like oh shit I gotta be grateful again you know. <laughs> uh, so if there's like different times in the day, I'll okay. like, let me just That's do nice. do you know. Uh huh. And just be like it's sunny. I woke up. Uh huh. And yeah. And you manage really and you manage several three clap push ups. Yeah. Uh yeah, two and a half to three. Yeah. I, I, I consider that it. three, yeah. Alright, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know anyone else who could do that, at least. I'm sure you can. But... I'll, I'll I'll try it myself eventually. Okay, yeah, you better get that on film too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm.